Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Now we are with our, our uh, main uh, topic. We're discussing uh, in uh, the main topic uh, Foreign Minister Samah Shukri participating in uh, the Munich uh, Conference uh, of Security and uh, to shed more light on uh, this uh, and the importance of Egypt participation in this uh, uh, conference. We have the pleasure to have with us over the phone our dear guest, uh, Dr. Ayman Salama, Professor of International Law. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? How are you, sir? Well, uh, Dr. Salama, how do you see the importance of Egypt's participation in this important conference? So Egypt has been perpetually participating in such a very important, significant, and crucial conference that uh, yearly uh, held in Munich to discuss uh, all... Uh, the humanitarian security, nuclear security, such and such, uh, uh, represented in the excellency. Uh, um, is uh, uh, a landmark uh, step uh, to uh, highlight the Egyptian concern, the whole because of international and regional security. And as we do, the audience uh, uh, clearly know that uh, Egypt uh, is in the center of uh, uh, many crosswords and uh, crossings uh, uh, regionally in particular and we uh, are seeing or uh, we are witnessing the uh, crucial and escalation of uh, insecurity unrest in the area many uh, threats and challenges mm. that actually uh, take Egypt and uh, oblige Egypt to uh, effectively take part, takes part in such a conference in Munich. Yes. Uh, uh, also, um, uh, Dr. Salama, uh, uh, during uh, the conference, uh, Foreign Minister Samah Shukri delivered a very important uh, speech uh, and uh, uh, spoke in several points. Among them uh, is uh, the national security of Egypt and uh, uh, saying that if there's uh, any uh, military operation taking place in Rafah uh, that uh, uh, is going to... Uh, is not accepted by uh, Egypt, of course. And he also uh, um, um, uh, warned of uh, the uh, forced displacement of uh, the Palestinian people in the Gaza Strip. So how did you uh, follow his uh, uh, speech? Without any exaggeration, Egypt uh, has been always uh, uh, adhering to the uh, international law and rules in any area. It's not, I mean, uh, any, any Egyptian uh, always uh, sticks to and adheres to the uh, principles, rules uh, of the international law. Yes. That's why His Excellency President from the very moment, uh, in particular on the 7th of October last year, uh, His Excellency insisted on clear issues and clear uh, stances, different stances in this matter. The, uh, primarily and firstly that Egypt uh, uh, opposes uh, the liquidation or what, yes. what, what is the Israel and its uh, perpetrators, the accomplices actually uh, yeah. helps it especially with the Western countries, Egypt uh, refuses, firmly refuses the liquidation or the termination of the legitimate cause of the Palestinian people to uh, possess and to attain its uh, self-determination, self-determination. Uh, secondly, uh, His Excellency President <laughs> Al-Fatah Sisi always uh, Persists on the Egyptian uh, for yes, uh, so it refuses yes. refuses the uh, transfer replacement uh, to other uh, any other foreign country apart from the international borders of the uh, Palestine and also Gaza Strip. Yes. Uh, also, uh, I would like to ask you, uh, Dr. Salama, uh, about the uh, agenda of uh, the uh, uh, um, 
uh, of the uh, conference this year and uh, what is uh, the main topics which is high on the agenda of the conference this year this year many different issues uh, uh, topic, but the most prominent and remarkable issue to uh, I pursue that followed is the nuclear security humanitarian security the uh, terrorist threats and challenges to the uh, international world order, uh, the refugees and all the refugee securities and the uh, international law that uh, also uh, impresses the and uh, addresses the issue of the uh, refugees, uh, displaced persons, uh, civil wars and their uh, uh, negative uh, repercussions and implications. Yes. Uh, also, uh, on the side uh, line of the, the conference, uh, Foreign Minister Samah Shukri have uh, met uh, with the uh, U.S. Uh, uh, Secretary of State, Antony Blinken. Also, he met with the former Speaker of the U.S. Uh, House of Representatives, uh, Nancy Pelucci, and also Netherlands Prime Minister Mark Rutte, uh, also the Lebanese uh, uh, um, uh, Minister uh, Najib Mikati, and uh, also uh, he met with the International um, uh, Criminal Court's uh, prosecutor Karim Khan. So, what is the importance of the sideline side meetings uh, uh, that goes parallel with the uh, uh, his attending uh, the uh, Foreign Minister Sam Shukri attending the Munich uh, Security Conference? The sideline uh, meetings uh, where two officials uh, uh, speak one to one. That's very important because mm -hmm. His Excellency uh, Ambassador Sam Shukri made use of his uh, participation there to uh, consolidate the Egyptian uh, external and foreign relations with uh, such uh, heads of the state, uh, prime minister, uh, foreign ministers in particular, the United States of America, uh, foreign uh, minister uh, Lincoln, and even also with the chief prosecutor of the ICC in The Hague, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Karim Khan, uh, yes. this meeting over there, this conference over there uh, in uh, Munich, uh, Germany, uh, actually paved the way for Egypt uh, to consolidate and enhance its relations uh, uh, with the countries, uh, international organizations, uh, uh, and all the Im Im implications and effects of such meetings actually will directly and effectively uh, uh, make a leverage for the prosperity and the, uh, the fruitful outcome for the children in particular. Yes. Uh, uh, also on the side uh, uh, line meetings, the top diplomat, uh, uh, Foreign Minister Samah Shukri, met with the uh, EU Foreign Policy uh, Chief uh, uh, Joseph Borrell. Also, uh, that was a very important uh, uh, meeting, and he met also uh, with the, uh, uh, several senior global leaders uh, and officials, including the members uh, of the Elders Group, uh, founded by the late uh, South African leader Nelson Mandela. So, uh, also, if you would like to shed more light on this. If Egypt uh, has been in very uh, strong relations with the EU, as you know, that uh, there has been a, par a sort of a partnership, a partnership with the EU, uh, and it actually it's a formal political sense that, that we are uh, Egypt sees annually such a fund or uh, some of. Uh, uh, economic fund from the EU uh, so uh, His Excellency Mr. Sama Shukri actually explored the opportunity to enhance and also uh, to, to, to uh, offer and present views on many uh, issues and subjects such uh, addresses the mutual relations between Egypt and the EU uh, in addition to the Egyptian also participate, uh, 
meetings with some other head of states, as, I, as I've mentioned, uh, uh, and also uh, representatives of uh, any national organizations, regional organizations, prime ministers, head of states. That's why I, I, I claim that I claim that uh, this is uh, a very uh, important and significant opportunity for the uh, Egyptian uh, people and also for the Egyptian uh, officials to represent and all Egyptians' views in different uh, levels uh, and domains. Yes. Uh, uh, also, um, we need to learn more, uh, uh, Dr. Salama, uh, about uh, the uh, round table that uh, uh, Foreign Minister Samah Shukri have opened, uh, which was organized by the Cairo International Center for uh, uh, the conflict resolution and uh, peace uh, keeping and uh, peace building in uh, Africa, and which uh, was entitled The Emergence of a New Era, the African Peace and Security Regime in the uh, Changing World. The uh, Cairo Regional Center has been established here in Egypt in uh, the mid-90s uh, last century. I was one of the uh, pioneering uh, uh, teachers, instructors uh, in such a uh, regional uh, center. Yes. Egypt has been actually uh, giving, uh, offering, presenting its help, uh, especially in the academic area, area researches, etc., in the areas of uh, peacekeeping, uh, uh, training, uh, qualification, and also uh, international dispute resolution. That's why the Egyptian center located in Cairo uh, gained uh, such uh, a, a caliber, such a, a reputation among uh, other uh, a similar and comparable in the area of uh, peacekeeping in particular. That's why uh, Mr. Sama Shukri uh, actually gained such or, I mean, uh, exploited such an opportunity to uh, help or to, 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 to uh, gain such assistance from his counterparts in the conference in Munich, Germany. Yes. Uh, also, uh, Dr. Salama, uh, how do you evaluate the stance of Egypt towards uh, uh, the Gaza Strip and the Palestinian uh, cause also in general? And uh, also, since the 7th of October, Egypt uh, was always keen on delivering the humanitarian aid through the, uh, the Rafah crossing border and has never uh, closed the border for any uh, reason and uh, was able to deliver several uh, and to facilitate uh, the movement of uh, trucks inside uh, the Gaza Strip. So uh, give us an evaluation of uh, the stance of Egypt. This meant uh, actually tackles or address uh, includes two major uh, points. The first one is uh, uh, Egypt uh, adopted the stance that uh, uh, e Egypt since 1947, in, in particular with the uh, uh, United Nations General Assembly adoption of Resolution uh, 181 of the Division of Palestine in, into two states, Egypt uh, uh, has been adopting uh, a legitimate uh, and a international law stands towards the necessity and the indispensability of the Egyptian, uh, excuse me, of the Palestinian people to gain, attain uh, its uh, legitimate self-autonomy and self-determination in Palestine and also to establish uh, such uh, an independent and a sovereign state for the Palestinian people. This is number one. I mean, the, the Egypt adopts the legitimacy, legitimacy of the uh, Palestinian people to get the uh, self-autonomy. Secondly, Egypt uh, has been in particular since 2006 in particular, and just months after the, uh, the so-claimed uh, Israeli forces withdrawal from the Strip, 
Egypt has been exerted uh, uh, end, and endlessly, endlessly, its, uh, pe its uh, good offices and mediation between the two belligerents uh, in Gaza, the uh, occupying uh, Israeli forces and also the uh, armed resistance groups in Gaza. Uh, so many times Egypt effectively to de-escalate the armed hostilities, the military hostilities between the two belligerent parties over there in Gaza. That's why all the uh, international organizations and also member, all United Nations member states actually praised the Egyptian stance to de-escalate also uh, the uh, military hostilities between two belligerent parties. Thirdly, Egypt from the first one of uh, the happenings the armed hostilities over there in Gaza, October the 7th last year, Egypt uh, uh, effectively made such a, a gross, uh, huge humanitarian aid to convoy, etc., to the civilians over there, the non migrant, uh, uh, I mean the civilians, Palestinians, uh, the, via. Rafa crossing. That's why the uh, international uh, community praised uh, many times the Egyptian stance in such humanitarian assistance and humanitarian help <coughs> aid to the Palestinian uh, blockaded by the occupying Israeli forces. Yes, I thank you very much for your time. Uh, thank you for your valuable information, uh, Dr. Ayman Salama, um, the Professor of International Law. Thank you very much for joining us over the phone. Ladies and gentlemen, a short break and I'm going to be back with you.